Hello and welcome to Handbag Angel's YouTube channel. Today's video is all about the Giacomus Le Chiquito Grande handbag. I'm sure you're aware that Giacomus has literally taken social media by storm recently. I am seeing them everywhere. And we have finally managed to get hold of the Le Grand size in their popular Le Chiquito handbag. Um, it was quite difficult to get hold of. We did have to wait around for quite a few weeks. Uh, we rang Selfridges, we kept checking loads of different websites. And finally it came into stock on Selfridges. So we ordered it from there. We didn't get it from Giacomus Direct because on their website it did actually say there is a risk of us getting charged customs because we're in the UK. So we thought we'll try and get it from somewhere in England. And like I said, it finally came into stock in Selfridges. We did want the black. Um, I know a lot of people love the bright colours. So do we, but we just thought the black, a bit more practical, matches a lot more. We're going to get a lot more use out of it rather than getting like bright pink or red like um, some of the co other colours. We also chose to get the Le Grand size because we just feel like the other ones, um, the, the ones that are a lot smaller, are a little bit pointless. They are absolutely tiny, they are literally about this big and you just can't fit anything in them. They look great but you just can't fit anything in them so we thought we would get this size just for practicality purely because we can actually fit things in it and we would actually be able to use it like an actual handbag and fit all your stuff in it. Before I talk about this handbag specifically, I just wanted to do a quick run over the different sizes that Giacomus have the Le Chiquito in. So it starts off, I'm going to start at the biggest, which is the Le Grand. That's the one we have, as I've already said. Now the next two down are actually the same size. So you have the Moyen, which is, um, that's the one with the handle like this. I'll pop a picture on the screen next to me. And then I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this right, um, but the there is one that is the same size as the Moyen and that is the Nud. I don't know if I've said that right. Um, and like I said about the Moyen, I will pop a picture somewhere on the screen, but that one has a slightly different handle and it's like a circle. I'll put it on the screen so you can see what I mean. And then the next one down from that is the, just the regular Le Chiquito and that is literally about this big, it is tiny. As well as the Le Chiquito handbag, the Bambino by Giacomus is probably equally as popular. I'm sure you'll have already seen it, but we just decided to get the Le Chiquito for now and the Bambino may be something that we look at getting in the future because I do think it'd be good to do like a comparison between the two because they are definitely Giacomus's two top handbags. But yeah, for now we have the Le Chiquito and without further ado, let's take a look at it. So this handbag is made out of this very like smooth leather um, and as you can see, it's all black. No other colours on it apart from the gold hardware there where it says Jackimus. And you've got these little clasps here to attach the crossbody strap. Here is the crossbody strap which the bag came with and it is fully adjustable so you can get both a top handle and a crossbody or a shoulder out of this bag. As you can see, it is like a flap opening like this and it has like a magnetic press stud. Um, I have actually used this handbag. I took it out with, um, at the weekend with me and I found that it is a really easy like open and close. It catches really well. You're not faffing around trying to find where it closes. Inside the interior is quite a pale colour. As you can see, it has one internal pocket there and there's like um, a hot stamp kind of thing that just says Jackie Masson. Um, the inside material is quite like a canvas kind of material. It's not leather, so it is slightly different. Just give you a better look of that there. I'm really glad that we got the handbag in this size because you can actually fit so much in here. You can get all your essentials in and a little bit more. I will show you that a bit later in the video. I also love about this handbag, how big the handle is. And at first I was a bit like, wow, that handle is huge when it first came. But I just think it's so different and it's so like unique in a way because you don't see many handbags with a handle this big. And it looks great like on your, sh on your uh, shoulder, that's my elbow. It looks great on your elbow like that. So you can dress it up, you can dress it down. It's just, I just love it. It's just such a nice handbag. And I love how minimalistic it is as well. Of course, we created a handbag liner for the Le Grand Chiquito. I've got one here in gold and yellow. And we've also popped a really cute like pocket trim on there. Um, they look like little daisies. This pocket trim is called Daisy Chain on our website. I thought gold and yellow would look fabulous against the black, like a really nice pop of colour. I'll pop it in the handbag and I will show you what it looks like. But if you don't already know, Handbag Angels do have their own website where we sell handmade handbag organisers. Um, we have them for so many different handbags, so many different brands. And they're great for not only internally protecting your handbags, but organising them 
and handbags which are more on the slouchy side they're really good for adding supports as well like i said the interior of this handbag is very pale very light color and um, therefore a handbag liner is definitely necessary because the last thing you want is to be getting like pen marks makeup stains anything like that on the interior which and when you're paying this was 560 i think off the top of my head you don't really want a ruined inside and if you are thinking of selling the bag in the future having stains and marks on the inside would definitely like decrease your resale value so yeah there is the handbag liner inside the bag the handbag liner has two internal pockets and it finishes just below the internal pocket of the actual handbag so you actually now have three internal pockets which is great for organizing all your bits and pieces and everything's not just sat piled on top of each other as well as golden yellow um, our other brighter colors include lime zest and mandarin orange these also look fantastic inside a black handbag because it just brightens it up uh, and don't, i think it's quite boring just going for black to match the bag and not only that but it also actually darkens inside so having like a brighter color like this really does help to actually see into the bag better just brightens it up and makes it easy to find your bits and pieces i have brought a few things with me to show you what actually fits in the bag so first i'm going to start with my medium kirigami i find this really good for having like all your cards in here all your cash your coins maybe like a little mirror bits of makeup i just use this as like everything that like I might need, like all my essentials go in here basically. I think it's a really good size and it just keeps everything important like together. So that fits into the Le Grand size nicely. I'll quickly show you that there. And then I've also got, I've got an iPhone case because my phone is being used to film this, but it's the same thing. And um, that also goes in there. I'm actually gonna put that in one of the internal pockets because your phone, you're obviously often reaching for it. So you don't really want that at the bottom. Also got my car keys. I'm gonna pop those in like the main compartment. I've got two um, Saint Laurent lipsticks because lipsticks are always a necessity when you're out and about. I've also got one of our Chanel like perfume automizers and Handbag Angels handbag hanger because the last thing you want when you're out and about is to be popping your handbag on the floor. It's not only going to dirty it, but it's not very safe either. And they both slot in there. I'm going to put the handbag hanger in the other pocket and the automizer in the main compartment. And there we have the handbag full. As you can see, there is actually room in there. Could definitely fit like a hand sanitizer in there, maybe even a full size perfume rather than just the automizer. Maybe like a hairbrush, like a mini one, something like that. These were just all the props that I've brought with me today. Um, I think the Louis Vuitton mini budget accessoires would easily fit in here. I do like to use that as like um, an example in a lot of my videos because I know it's very popular for people to have that like, in the handbags with all their essentials in it. I know uh, that's what we use ours for. I know it can also be used as a handbag as well, like a little cute pouch. But that would also fit in here because that is quite similar sized to the medium kirigami, but if anything, a little bit deeper. My overall opinion on the Le Grand Chiquito by Chekamus, I absolutely love it. Um, I think it's so like quirky with the big handle, like I said before, it is a great size. For me, it's the perfect size because I don't really carry a big bag. I don't carry a lot with me when I'm out and about. So I just think it is that perfect size. The color for us, we wouldn't really have picked any other color. Um, white, a little bit dangerous to have a white handbag. I know some people love white handbags. I think they look absolutely amazing but it's just too risky getting it dirty and stuff. So that is why we went for black and the bright colors, like I said, a little bit harder to match with your outfits. I also think it is such a good bag to style up or to style down. I think it looks really classy sat on your elbow, like I said before. I actually took this out to the races with me and I had it on my um, elbow all day. I just think it looked really nice and elegant. Having the crossbody strap also makes it look a bit more casual if you're out during the day. And it does also fit on your shoulder actually, like that. Sorry, I'm sat down, I didn't show you that very well. But yeah, it's a 10 out of 10 from me. The only little criticism I might have, but it's still a 10 out of 10, is the leather is very smooth. So you do have to be careful with your nails and stuff because I think any like deep scratches would show up quite a lot. But we're just very careful with ours. Like my nails aren't very long anyway, so I'm all good. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and hopefully you'll subscribe and come back for the next video.